All right, if you click this video for one reason and one reason only is because you want to guarantee yourself a huge pet every event, especially in the good versus evil event that we just got yesterday. And that is because with this brand new event, there is a brand new clan battle where you have to go ahead and hatch a good and evil huge pets from eggs. Some people were hatching it from gifts, but recently Connor, one of the developers, has taken that feature away. So the only way to get some points for your clan is within hatching one of these eggs. So obviously you had a 50% chance, 50-50 chance of getting either evil or good side so i'm pretty sure both huges for each side is one in 16.6 million which is pretty hard so you know some people who don't have game passes or robux they still want to be able to do this and stuff like that also alongside the clan battle people who hatch go ahead and hatch some huge pets during this event actually get a free huge pet alongside that so i'm pretty sure for right now people who have hatched two plus they have a chance of getting a rainbow huge pet if they continue to stay on the leaderboard in that position for the next 14 days or i think 12 days 13 days now i know my previous video i said it was every hour this changes i was completely wrong it's for the entire clan battle so you do have a chance of still getting a huge pet even if your clan does not win the clan battle right here which gives you a huge rainbow pet um a gold pet if you're in top two or three or if you're top uh, 10 i believe you also get a regular one i'm not exactly sure on that but yeah there's a chance of you getting a huge pet so you definitely want to go ahead and get a huge pet out of this event right here so whoever is on the leaderboards i'm pretty sure i'm on this leaderboard as well because I see the thumb, the picture in that thumbnail, the huge pet right there. I hatched that myself. If you go ahead and check the clan my, I'm in right here, I believe we're top uh, 30, 31. We're 31 right here. If you go ahead and scroll down and we go to my username right here, Cricket Man, I have hatched one. And I was lucky enough to even get a gold one, which is pretty insane. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I got that using this method that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in this video. So obviously, if I believe you're, I'm not sure what rebirth it is, but at least if you're reaper six or i think seven you have the opportunity to getting charged eggs which make your eggs lucky but at a cost of 20 times the egg cost so you're obviously going to want to have that on because if you don't have luck boost running at least you have that and you have a chance still a high chance of getting a huge pet still and obviously you're going to want auto hatch on now you're obviously going to want to have some pretty good coins because it is going to take your coins out a lot if you're not that good see me i only have 500 million if i had that on i wouldn't even last a full night honestly hatching that so you're definitely gonna go ahead and have some pretty good boost this account does not have um any good boost like potions and stuff like that but you're definitely gonna get like coin potion i think 10 is the max or nine i'm not exactly sure but whatever the max is go ahead and get some of those and if you do have some extra potions laying around go ahead and craft them i'm pretty sure there is a thing where you have to uh level up here to even craft those so yeah you have to get level 80 to even craft the 10 ones I think in order to use them, you can use uh, level 60 right there. Level 60 is where you have to be to drink the max like luck boost right there. So if you do have spare boost, go ahead and craft them so you can get your level up. Or if you want to be a rich person and go ahead and get mastery potions, uh, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Um, go, same goes with uh, the masteries as well for enchants. You're going to want to go ahead and get to level 60 because uh, tier 9 is actually the best you can equip and it's going to give you the best luck. I'm also going to put on the screen really quickly the percentage max for enchants right here. Now go ahead and use that and do what you can best. I think I believe I showed my enchant loadout in the previous video. I had like two tier nine lux, um, one tier three luck, and one luck tier one, and then a bunch of like coin uh, enchants so I can get to the coins while I'm grinding and stuff like that. And I believe I got shiny on there, magnet, because while you're grinding, you're obviously gonna want to get all the things you can here, because these magnet flags don't last that long, and you can't even like automate automate them like you can for fruit mastery where level ninety you can automatically eat the fruit so yeah i'm pretty sure none of these fruit boosts actually give you luck so i wouldn't waste my time doing that unless you're like grinding bananas because bananas do give you a boost coin a coin boost by five percent which is pretty good so and it does stack as well with other fruits as you go along which is pretty insane so i think that's got 100 percent by itself already um obviously you're gonna want to go ahead and rank up at least if you can to 11 or 20 because it does give you some extra enchant loadouts and you're gonna want that now enough talking about enchant you're gonna want to go ahead and use these potions right here i don't have it on this account but you're gonna want to go ahead and use the cocktail now i believe you can get cocktails a lot easier from drops and although they only last for 30 minutes they have a better percentage of luck than they do for like 
tier 9s and tier 10s but tier 10s and tier 9s are a little bit cheaper so if you want to go ahead and do that do that but i believe cocktail is a, a more expensive thing but you can also get them from drops and they do have a higher luck chance and it gives you luck uh gives you luck treasure hunter it also i believe gives you coins coin boost stuff like that diamond boost and stuff like that so while you're grinding you're still getting this currency while you're grinding and you have a chance of getting that huge pet which is pretty insane now i know i said you wouldn't have to spend robux but you honestly might have to i mean it's not even that expensive because it is only ten thousand no ten thousand ten dollars worth of robux usd or if you want to say a thousand seventy five robux which is inexpensive you're not going to really need 15 plus hat unless you really want to but you're not going to need it same goes for a huge hunter because it does say right here more like hatching active huges this is an event huge which means it has like the same kind of like rarity as a regular pet void so it's not like a, a active huge where it changes every 24 hours i believe it is literally an event huge and you can only hatch it from that one egg other than active huge you can hatch it within like the best egg in that world i believe so you could also hatch an active huge out of this but it isn't going to help you out that's why i don't use the huge hunter enchant because it does only affect huge uh active huges and we aren't trying to get active huges like for example this giraffe right here is an active huge we don't want active huges in this event because we want to go ahead and get some points for your team or for your clan battle or even get on this leaderboard to get you a free huge so you're gonna definitely want to use um not use huge hunter because it is gonna waste your gems and waste the robux honestly so that's why i think that's one of the most stupidest game pass that's sidetrack but i do think that's the, like the worst game pass ever i would use uh ultra lucky because it is gonna help you obviously boost your luck with this um i know i said enough talk about enchants but if we go ahead and go to area 162 in the tech world which has the enchant empowering mini game kind of thing which it strengthens your enchants if you come inside so one of these machines i believe you could turn your books into essence so if you have any spear books laying around you could turn them to essence and these are pretty expensive for to create them but if you want to go ahead go on a trading plaza and get some it's pretty cheap honestly doing it that way but if you come over here it only lasts for eight hours it's pretty good for a night but it isn't going to help you out 24 7 but it is a good idea to go ahead and do you're going to need at least 3,000, i think for uh no we're going to need at least 15,000 for a tier 9 because pretty insane enchant so it's pretty rare to get as well and it is also untradeable also i would remind you that after those eight hours are done you're going to have to redo your enchant loadout because it does on unequip so yeah but it is going to give you a, a, a big boost on your books obviously and give you some more luck now i'm not sure that uh messes with the max luck that you can or like any like max percentage you can do on them uh, enchant loadouts but it is also a pretty insane thing to help you out grow your luck out trying to get these brand new event huges but if this video did help you out then make sure to go ahead and like subscribe and turn that bell on to i post a brand new video and comment down below if you guys did hatch a huge pet with this information i gave you but anyways guys peace